Hello, now I've left behind the rain and the mist of Scotland and I've exchanged it for the rain and mist of Tuscany in Italy. We are still here with our friends at Etrusco looking at their new range of Ford based motorhomes and today we're going to look at the slightly larger version of what we looked at yesterday. This is the T 6.9 SF. Let's take a closer look. Now the good news is folks I have a little bit more information on this motorhome than I did yesterday so that's good. The T 6.9 SF starts at £52,000 that's in its basic guise but I can tell you right now this has had a load of options fitted to it. The alloy wheels are definitely an option because steel wheels come as standard. These very smart Ford alloys, the black alloys, can you see those? So whereas the V 6.6 .6 SF we looked at yesterday was 2.14 metres wide, this one is 2.23 metres wide. But we're going to take it for a drive and see if that makes much of a difference. Still got the 130 bhp Ford 2 litre Eco Blue diesel engine as standard and the manual 6 speed box, manual 6 speed gearbox of course. Uh, automatic is an option, still no reversing camera. I don't know what packs are available folks, again check out Etrusco's website which will be updated when possible because these are all pre-production motor types, these, is, these have not been built on the production line in the factory, these have been built sort of by hand in the R&D section so we have to make a few allowances for that. So we've still got a nice spacious garage plenty of room I'd say you get four bikes in there no bother lashing points light and socket all very good if I switch the electrics on when I go inside and I see this one's fitted with the uh, two lay on the store awning I'm guessing that's an option folks anyway it started to rain again so let's head inside via the electric step and the one piece entry door with no window Let's go in. Right, so as we head in, we can see once again, very useful shoe locker as we come in. Very thoughtful touch there. Gray upholstery comes as standard. So I think this must be either an option or an upgrade to have this nice, smart sort of herringbone cream, uh, leather trimmed, very nice. And also that's another option folks, this is all going to be on top of the £52,000 so I'm pretty sure we're looking at at least 60 grand's worth of motorhome here. But don't take my word for it, you'll need to check out the website as and when it's updated with the updated prices. So Ford Cab, this front end is all very similar to the V. 6.6 SF we looked at yesterday of it does have the cab sunroof which really makes a difference because you see if I close the door now I find the door area of the van of the motorhome sorry is a little bit dark because you don't have a window in the door there's no window behind the seat so I do find that a little bit dark and I think the cab sunroof makes all the difference and if I was buying this van I think I would specify the sunroof to bring some extra light to the front of the, the motorhome especially because we also have the optional drop down bed here so of course the optional drop down bed means that there are no roof lights over the lounge because you've got a bed that once again is option. This motorhome is two berths as standard and the options take it up to a five berth. So even if you do go for the optional five berth, you've still got room for everyone to sit at the table, which is pretty good. I'd say it's very good actually. As we swing over to the, there we go, put the lights on. There's our electrical panel there, next to the Truma water heater and heating control. 
but notice that is not inet i can i don't know if this is inet ready folks that is not on the spec sheets so once again as i say this is a first look at a pre-production prototype it's all very early days we're hoping to get these in the uk in the summer so when these are presented to our dealers in the uk they will obviously be furnished with far more information about what we're going to be getting in the uk this is really to give you a taster a taster of this rather delicious motorhome so this one now we have a very speaking of tasty very tasty three burner thetford hob Hob, no spark ignition no and uh, a sink so slightly different kitchen as we had to the v 6.6 sf I understand that an oven is an option. You are not forced to have an, an oven, which I know will please a lot of people. And we have the ubiquitous three-way tall Thetford fridge freezer right next to the kitchen. So that's very swish. And cupboard below. And being a Trisco, we've got soft closed drawers oh i could play with soft closed drawers till the cows come home and then we go oh that's neat little bin on the back of the uh, cupboard door here and then a big deep cupboard there all very good and then your socket is above the cooker never a good place to put a socket I think a socket there cooker there and if you want your kettle you're gonna have to have the cooker lid down is there a socket on the front here yeah there's a sock it's very hard for you to see folks but there's also a socket under the front here as well so you could use that but of course these sockets have to be kept away from the sink so that explains why they're near the cooker. So as we swing round now, we'll have a quick look in the washroom. And this is like the uh, the van. This is the Vario washroom. So this is currently set up as a shower. So I'll give you a sweep of the shower. And again, we've got a towel rail or a hanging rail for dripping coats and a roof vent to evacuate the steam. All right, so I'll just put the shower head around there and then swing this. Is that gonna work? Yeah. So then we bring back the wash basin and we have the toilet. A little place to put your bits and pieces some hooks and of course folks you know what's coming the all-important mirror for the hello sorry has to be done and finally just as we saw yesterday in the 6.6 sf we have two single beds here or you've got a bolster here which i believe is an option uh to make up a Huge, huge double. So yes, all very nice. And then cupboards and wardrobes underneath, as you would expect. Very nice. Okay, so just to reiterate folks, this is a pre-production prototype. Details are a little bit scarce, but this does seem to have a lot of upgrades fitted to it. So uh, do please check out the Etrusco website, which will be updated as Etrusco finalise all the details. So that is a quick view of the interior. Now let's go and jump in a sister van, another T6.9 SF with grey upholstery and take it for a spin. Right, okay, so let's give this a drive. Now we got the six speed manual box in this particular motorhome. And uh, gosh, let's see if I can manage to see how I get on with this one. 
So other than that, it's pretty similar to the uh, to the motorhome I was driving yesterday, the V6.6 SF. Um, my Apple CarPlay is all set up. That's all working. So I should turn the camera around and let us crack on, see how this one drives. Right, let's see if I can remember to drive a manual. Oh dear. So this one is wider than the V6.6 we were driving yesterday, wider than the van series. This is about 2.3-ish. I'll put it in a subtitle, but it is a little bit wider. But what I'm noticing already, folks, is we do have... Oops, that'll be a van. Oh gosh, yes, I've got to drive on the right, haven't I? Drive on the right, didn't I? Drive on the right. Thank you. Sorry. Um, this one does have the optional front bed fitted. It's a drop-down bed. But I can hear it's moving around it a little bit. Oh, hello, doggy. That's a nice dog. Hello. Cool. But he'd like to play with Dougal. Why is everyone driving on the wrong side of the road? Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh dear. Excuse me. Coming through. Man in the van. Even though it's wider than the V6.6 and uh, the V5.9, it doesn't really translate into much on the right. I've got to say, it still feels feels about the same to me. Uh, anyway, what do I know? Right, so I managed to pull away from the roundabout in third gear. So it's got a nice wide third gear and you always want that in a, in a manual box. Six speed box, six speed box. With we're not going to manage to, to get up to 6th gear because this is only a, a small route we're taking. But you can hear on this bumpy road uh, there is a, I would say, a substantial amount of noise from the cabin. This is why I don't use a microphone when I'm driving. I like you to hear what's going on. Oh, excuse me, bus. It's all right. We'll just... Excuse me, coming through, man in the van. Oh dear. I'm liking the third gear. I am liking the third gear. So I'm just pulling off this manoeuvre, folks, without changing gears at all. Came off that road, around that corner, and I'm, and I'm pulling away from here, all in third gear. That's pretty good, pretty good. Whoop, breathe in. And we're still pulling away in third gear. This is the nice lazy gearbox. Whoa! Excuse me. Now I need second gear. Italy is running very short of uh, water at the moment, so I thought I would bring them all a gift from Scotland. So I brought some rain with me. I'm, I'm kind like that, I'm all heart. I've got to say, folks, there's there's a substantial amount of noise from the furniture, which I don't remember when I last had an Etrusco van, when I was last in Italy. Maybe because this is a prototype. You can feel a bit more body roll on this one. The chassis isn't quite as low down, I feel, and it's... Uh, a little bit more roly-poly. Right, let's see if I can turn around here.
Nice tight turning circle as always with a Ford. Oh yeah, how was that? Smooth. So it's nice and comfortable, nice driving position. Very comfortable actually. King of the road. Yeah, I'm liking this. Bit of a wobbly road. So we're going uphill now. We're in third gear. The engine is labouring slightly. I'm pretty sure we've got the 130 standard engine in this one. There's no slouch. It is no slouch at all. Can't go very fast though in, in these conditions. It's not a race though anyway. It's not a race when you're in a motorhome. You're on holiday. Chill. Take it easy. Excuse me Carl. I didn't get that one to wheel service spin then. I did try. So to sum up folks, the engine is it's no slouch. It's certainly very much up to the job. Whoa, I'll just wait here I think. Um, great gearbox, even the six-speed manual is a great gearbox. You're welcome. And it's not too bad at all to drive, um, even on these fairly small roads. It's not intimidating. Just take it easy. Excuse me, coming through, man in the van. And it's all fine. I think the one issue I have, folks, with the driving is the noise coming from the cabin. It's quite clat clattery, as you can hear. So I don't know if that's this particular van, being a prototype, being the first of its kind. It's not normally what you get from an Etrusco. Either way, all in all, it's comfortable and it's a positive experience. There we go. So there you have it folks, the very lovely Etrusco T 6.9 SF on a Ford chassis. As ever, please check out Etrusco's website which will be updated as details are finalised and I'll leave links in the description below this video. Huge thank you to Etrusco for inviting me out to Tuscany for this event. A huge thank you to you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already it just leaves me to say from Dougal who's back home and from me thanks for churning it